Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh uh, Respected brothers Welcome back once again to um, A very interesting topic This topic is regarding the Attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala In many places in the Holy Quran Has described himself As Istawa ala al-arsh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's istiwa is an attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every single Muslim believes in this, must believe in this, it's necessary to believe in this. And we say istiwa is as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has intended. Whatever it means, we believe in. We do not add any meaning from our own selves. We do not liken Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's istiwa with the creation because sometimes a word in Arabic can come for Allah and the same word when it comes for human beings has a totally different meaning. So what we do is we believe in it. We have iman upon it. It's an attribute of Allah. Whatever the intended meaning and the reality is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best and we bring faith upon this. Very simple to understand. The Salafiya and the Wahhabiya, amongst them, the majority in this issue, have gone towards describing istiwa as istiqrar. So one of the meaning is ulu. Okay, I'm not t talking about this meaning. I'm talking about istiqrar. Istiqrar literally, okay, istaqarra yastaqirru. It means settling. It means Settling. Now, so the meaning that they take is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has istiqrar upon the arsh. He has settled upon the arsh. Now, I'd like to first and foremost, okay, show you once again, just like we're doing it repeatedly, this is to first and foremost call upon Brother Uthman bin Farooq that we're doing all this to explain to you, my brother, that you have a major misconception regarding your own seniors. You think they're united, they're not. So please watch this. I don't care about Facebook or Twitter, but like if you take Sheikh Ibn Baz, Sheikh Ibn Athaymin, Sheikh Albani, Sheikh Saleh Al Fawzan, and this is the contemporary if you take it back, regarding the core of the Aqidah, Alhamdulillah, those who ascribe themselves to Salafiyyah will have an agreement. They may disagree on fiqh issues, they may disagree on political issues, and so on. But this is something you will not find. So brothers, you watched, he's saying his elders are united in the names and attributes of Allah, the core of Aqidah. And time and again, we've explained they are disunited majorly. Here, my brothers, inshallah, I want to explain the issue of the istiqrar, the meaning of istiqrar and settling of Allah upon the arsh that the Salafi seniors have taken. So first and foremost, I have in front of me, the Sharh of um, Lum'atul I'tiqad of Ibn Qudama al-Maqdisi rahimahullah by Sheikh Uthaymin, one of the most highest ranking uh, Wahhabi Salafi uh, seniors of recent times. In, in this, okay, on page 62, he writes regarding the istiwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Allah uses the word Okay, istawa. He does not use the word istiqrar. Rasulullah sallallahu has not used the word istiqrar. So, Sheikh Uthaymin says, wa ajma'a salafu. The salaf, okay, the earlier generations have a unanimous agreement. Ala ithbati istiwa illahi ala arshihi. Agreement upon what? Affirming Allah's istiwa upon his arsh. Fine. Fayajibu ithbatuhu. So, he says, so, it is necessary to affirm Allah's istiwa upon the arsh. Min ghayri tahrifin wala ta'atilin wala takiyifin wala tamthilin. Without interpolating it, without, you know, rejecting it and making ta'atil and, you know, totally cancelling it out. Uh, without giving it a, a form and a modality, 
okay ولا تكييف ولا تمثيل and without likening it uh, to um, his creation وهو استواء حقيقي and it is a literal real استواء معناه now this is the point I'm gonna uh, discuss the meaning of the istiwa he says al ulu wal istiqrar its meaning is ulu highness and settling now the word settling my brothers that he uses this is the point of contention here ala wajhin yaliqu billahi ta'ala settling in a manner that befits his majesty befits his majesty now just remember these two things brothers settling and this next phrase in a manner that befits his majesty because salafis always use it and we're going to move on later inshallah to sheikh nasiruddin al-albani what he says regarding settling number one and number two the phrase in a manner that befits his majesty we're going to discuss this as well now moving on to the next um scholar within the salafia i have here Once again, Lum'atul I'tiqad, commentary this time by Sheikh Fawzan, who's still alive. Page number 91, he says, أَمَّا الْإِسْتِوَاءُ فَمَعْنَاهُ كَمَا فَسَّرَهُ السَّلَفُ الْعُلُوُّ وَالْإِسْتِقْرَارُ وَالسُعُودُ وَالْإِرْتِفَاءُ The meaning of istiwa according to the Salaf, okay, and he mentions four. My point here is just istiqra, so I'm going to mention only this. Obviously, he's taken it from uh, Sheikh Ibn Qayyim. Now, he's mentioned settling as a meaning that the Salaf have taken for istiwa. That's a separate topic in itself of how much these people have lied against the Salaf. Okay, I've called upon these people to come and discuss, publicly discuss, the sitting of Allah upon the throne. The sitting, not settling now. New word, sitting. And I've called them, let's discuss this from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa from Sahaba, from the Tabi'un, and from the earlier generations. Let's discuss this. Let's discuss first what your seniors believe. Nowhere to be seen. I've called upon them by name. None of them, my brothers, have accepted this. Now, moving on to the next reference. I have here the um, commentary by Sheikh Abdullah Jibreen upon Al-Aqidah Al-Wasitiyah. In here, he says, هَذِهِ هِيَ تَفَاسِيرُ أَهْلِ السُنَّةِ الْأَرْبَعَةِ So, هَذِهِ, these, هِيَ تَفَاسِيرُ أَهْلِ السُنَّةِ الْأَرْبَعَةُ Listen carefully. He says, these, are the four tafsirs, four commentaries of the Ahlul Sunnah upon what? The commentary of Ahlul Sunnah upon the word Istawa ala al-Arsh in Quran. He says, Aktharuhum yaqul, majority of Ahlul Sunnah say Istawa ala al-Arsh ay istaqarra alayhi. But then out of the four, he says, the majority say, majority say that Istawa al arsh means istaqarra al al arsh. Allah settled upon the throne. So, I've read to you what their seniors have said, and inshallah, all the scans at the end, as usual, for transparency purposes, will be presented to you on the screen. Now, I've read to you, my brothers, um, what they say with regards to the settling of Allah upon the arch. They establish it. They say it's one of the meanings the Salaf have taken. They say um, it's such as a settling that befits Allah's majesty. Uh, they say that it's a meaning Ahlul Sunnah have taken and majority of Ahlul Sunnah have taken. Now let's turn, my brothers, let's turn to what Nasiruddin Al-Albani has to say regarding this and this my brothers is so shocking that it's unbelievable look at the disunity they're saying settling upon the arsh istiqrar upon the arsh means uh, is a meaning that ahlul sunnah have taken majority of ahlul sunnah have taken okay it's proven from the earlier generations of islam 
all the noble scholars, you know, agreed with this. Majority took this meaning. And let's see what now Nasiruddin al-Albani has to say with regards to this. He says, and this is documented, uh, actually is on, you know, cassette. So let's hear it directly from his mouth. So listen to this. رحيم فضيلة الشيخ عندي سؤالان في العقيدة وسؤالان في الأحكام السؤال الأول في العقيدة قضية استواء الله على عرشه هل تعني أن الله مستقر بذاته على العرش لا يجوز استعمال ألفاظ لم ترد في الشرع لا يجوز أن يوصف الله بأنه مستقر لأن الاستقرار أولا صفة بشرية ثانيا لم يوصف بها ربنا عز وجل حتى نقول استقرار يليق بجلاله وكماله كما نقول في الاستواء فنحن لا نصف الله إلا بما وصف به نفسه ثم مقرونا مع التنزيه ليس كمثل شيء وهو السميع البصير هذا الجواب عن السؤال الأول So my brothers you've just listened now to the clip of Nasiruddin al-Albani. He rejects this word for Allah. And there's two main things in his clip, okay, which I'd like to highlight. He says, Istiqrar settling is sifatun bashariyatun. This is very, very significant. He says, this is a human attribute. Allahu Akbar. The Wahhabi scholars are saying the Salaf had this meaning. They took this meaning. And the majority of the Ahl Sunnah take this meaning. It's a correct meaning. It's in light of Quran and Sunnah. And Sheikh Nasiruddin al-Albani is saying it's a human attribute. It is not permissible. He says, لا يجوز استعمال الفاظن لم ترد في الشرع It is not permissible. To use such words that have not come in Sharia. In other words, that have not come through textual, scriptural evidence. لا يجوز أن يوصف الله It is not permissible for Allah to be described بأنه مستقر as settling. لأن الاستقرار أولا صفة بشرية because settling first and foremost is a human attribute. Then he says, secondly, because Allah has not described himself with it. So you've heard it directly from him. This is documented amongst his mawsu'ah. So my brothers, this is what the Salafis take. You decide for yourself, are the Salafis upon the uh, uh, unity, number one, and upon the way of the Salaf? Nothing like it. May Allah protect us from such deviance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Al fil alam mithl Muhammad fi man wulid wa fi Al fil alam mithl Muhammad fi man wulid wa fi man yulad Subhana ilahi sawwarahu wa bihi kullu alhusn tajassad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Man wulid yatiman li abihi والخير أتى منه وفيه دينا أو خلقا أو خلقا لم ألق له أي شبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم أشرب طعم الفقد صغيرا وتقلب في الفقد